Hello beautiful Capricorns, how are you today? Welcome to the channel, Irish Donna Tarot. My name is Donna and Tarot is my magic. So I really love having you here. Thank you so much for joining me. The energy that you're coming in with, Capricorn, is a beautiful Pisces, Knight of Cups energy, feeling dreamy and romantic, wanting to make an, a love offer, have a picnic, have a romantic interlude with somebody. The Eight of Cups, you've left something or someone behind to find more happiness. That is also Pisces energy. And the Hermit card, you may be dealing with a Virgo. So you're really searching for answers in this connection, but you really want it, you know? The connection shows that you want it, but you don't want to be discontent or unhappy. Now your person's energy is that they feel as though they have been closed out. You know, that Eight of Cups tells me that you have Close them out. Now, their feeling is, is that, you know, they're stuck forever. But you can see in the Five of Coins card, Capricorn, that this energy is, that there is a key to the door. I mean, there's a way out. There's a way in. There's a way into the relationship. But they're so busy sort of feeling sorry or feeling dejected that they don't see it. This is an, a balance issue. The issue here is that there's not equal give and take. We'll go from the five to the six of coins. Your person needs to step up in this in this relationship and be more giving. The Ace of Swords says that they do understand the mistake that they've made. They do want a reconciliation. So we have Scorpio energy and air sign energy. So let's see what we have for clarifiers here for you. So why do we have the Knight of Cups card for Capricorn? Capricorn, you're feeling romantic. But, you know, with somebody new, it's interesting. You're not talking to your person currently. Yep, there's the issue. The issue is, is that you want someone to be romantic with you. You don't want to have to make the first move all the time. You don't want to have to suggest to somebody what they need to do romantically. They should be able to take the lead. They should be able to be romantic with you and initiate with you. And it looks as though you're feeling as though you do most of the work and you're not up for it. The Eight of Cups says, you know what? I don't need that. We get the King of Cups reversed. So it really, you know, is telling us that you also do not feel, um, you don't feel a sense of stability in this relationship. You feel as though basically this person just holds back and doesn't share their emotions. They're not giving much. You know, you feel as though they might love you, but just not, a, not enough Capricorn. So what do we have? What do we have? The Virgo card here, juggling two. Okay. So your energy towards this person is that you need to keep your options open, that you really, you know, you're not really seeing the progress that you need to see in this relationship. So you're just going to, you know, take your toys home huh, from the party and you're just going to let this person try to figure it out on their own. You do see them as a person maybe with a bit of a bad attitude. The Four of Cups is somebody who's kind of immature, sort of bored. Life is boring. The Death card says that they never seem to really give, okay? So if you go out to dinner, it's almost like you would be picking up the tab most of the time. The Queen of Wands energy is that they bring on this, they project out into the world this very successful ability to be a leader, and indeed they actually are. So you're wondering why on earth they seem to be a lightweight in love. So let's see what the energy is here from the Messages of Love Oracle are for you. So you like this person romantically, but you don't see them as being your future because of no equal give and take. Let's see, rejection. This rejection, you feel rejected, Capricorn, is actually divine protection. So, you know, the way you're looking at it is it's like, you know, it is what it is. And, you know, though I'm not happy about it, you know, it's okay. The King of Cups upright means loving somebody unconditionally, but you do not love them unconditionally. You're willing to walk away. You know, we see that you'd be willing to forgive this person, uh, but forgiving yourself or another will help you move forward. So it does look like you're at that point of just letting it go. Eight of Cups, I'm going to walk away into the sun. I'm going to see something that's much happier 
uh, it really says that you can be uh, very vulnerable. This person wants a second chance. It does say that this person deserves a second chance, but I feel as though with the Hermit card, you're going to let them prove it, okay? So, and you do feel that everything happens for a reason. So you're kind of very chill with it. The Virgo energy in the Hermit card says, I'm just going to go to the cave. I'm going to let them figure it out. And if they do the right things and they figure some things out for both themselves and, you know, for the relationship, that, you know, you'll be happy to consider, reconsider. This person feels as though they've done the work. They feel very abundant, you know, that everything is fine. So this person doesn't get it. This person does not get it. They feel as though, you know, sometimes people have, <laughs> you go out to dinner and the richest person at the table <laughs> shorts the pile of cash in the middle that everybody brought to the table to pay for a big group dinner. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if I'm reading this right. Please leave comments below to tell me because this person looks like they're abundant. This person looks as though they might not have grown up with abundance because I get the death card. So I do feel that they have some hang-ups with money. They have some hang-ups with sharing. But money and intimacy are areas of equal give and take that we all need and this person does not seem as though they've ever done it. When we get the death card is that they need to rebirth this energy of understanding that they have to be equal. Children are important to this partnership. Okay, so for some of you, this person holds back financially because they have responsibilities with children, possibly from a previous relationship. We do see the Queen of Wands energy here. Time apart, some distance will help bring clarity. So this person is sort of really accepting the fact that you're walking away, but they think that this person really thinks that they've not done anything to deserve this sort of, you know, you're turning your back on them. They don't think they deserve it. So let's go ahead and see what the future could bring here. Because right now, they have to prove themselves to you, Capricorn. That's what I'm seeing for most of you. They're going to have to prove themselves to you. Because I don't see you being very content. Okay, in the future, you still have the Six of Cups energy. Five of Cups, excuse me. Five of Cups energy says that you're still not really feeling as though they're bringing their best to the table. You're going to stay in your power. Capricorn, this is your queen. You appeared in your reading. You know, the Capricorn queen is looking over here at the Five of Cups going, you know, I don't need that. All right, so let's see, Capricorn. Eight of coins, you're just working on yourself, you know, moving along in your life. You're pretty content. You know, Virgo, you may have a lot of Virgo in your chart, too. This person's feelings about the future are that, you know, you've left them in the cold by themselves. They may have some animals, but it looks like they're spending time with, with uh, you know, sort of like Dr. Doolittle. Wasn't that the one that talked to the animals? This person really wants to have a second chance with you. Uh, the Ten of Cups is happily ever after. This is how they see you. But here's the thing, when pigs fly. When you look at this card, you see a pig with wings. The feet are not on the ground. This is a page of cups. You know, this is somebody who's immature. So there could be an age difference. There could be an immaturity difference or a maturity difference. But what I'm seeing is that this person's sort of sitting over there waiting, and you're, you're off in a different direction. Let's see what the mutual energy is here. Oops, get that. All right, let's see. What is the mutual energy here, sweet? Look at this relationship, because you're both in your very different places. Capricorn, what is the mutual energy for the future? Okay, King of Wands. If your person could really step up and really show a bold leadership move, if they could bust a move, <laughs> you probably would be willing to consider them. But right now, you don't see it happening. You also think that they're a bit sneaky, you know, and they feel as though you hold back from them and you feel as though they're sneaky. So that energy is never good energy, in my opinion. 
And here we have it. Yep, there we go. This person still wants to make love. Well, the physical part of the relationship was really good. I think it's what brought the two of you together. Lots of passion in the early days, lots of good communication. But right now, we're seeing this whole situation being compromised with the Seven of Swords. You know, when there's dishonesty uh, or uh, something that's being hidden, is it really looks as though your person, in your opinion, your person doesn't plan on giving you, giving to the situation equally. So Ten of Wands is here. So you have, you know, you have the Eight of Cups, you're walking away, Ten of Wands. So it does look as though you're releasing them more than they're releasing you. They're accepting that you're releasing them as just time apart. So they don't really understand or seem to understand or want to understand or are mature enough to really understand that they've already lost. So um, let's see what we have for you in terms of new love, okay? Because this one looks like you are not going to take this person back. So let's see what we have for you. Capricorn in the way of a new connection coming in. You look like you're pretty content, you know, you're pretty happy, you've got your stuff together. You feel really good about your life, you know, it's not pleasant. The Ace of Swords, you want somebody who's just really amazingly honest, you have great clarity, you understand, you're keeping your options open. You may start a relationship with somebody in a work environment, although it does look as though right now you're not really ready for love queen of pentacles here you are and you're reading again you're just going to do you capricorn you're just doing you ace of cups will come along the timing for meeting somebody new looks as though it's sometime with the number five so i would say after the month of may it looks as though five weeks from now which is you know the beginning of may 2021, it does look like you will be open, you will meet somebody, and you will start another uh, relationship or the beginnings. But you are not going to limit your ability to date until you really have reached that point where somebody has proven themselves to you. But you do have someone with whom you could collaborate quite beautifully, someone you probably know, and someone who I think you don't see as being attracted to you and they're going to step forward with this ace of swords and reveal a truth so that is what i have for you capricorn sending you love from chicago bye-bye thank you